Would you like a receipt? Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's take a walk down Banana Alley and let's take a look at some of the trees holding fruit. I'm in Zone 9B, West Florida, and we are in getting towards the end of April here. And look at this. This is a shame, you see? Look at this. Scarlet Beauty Plum and branch is broken. And this is all because I guarantee a squirrel tried to get to it and it broke when he jumped on the branch. And that's why I have these two bagged up. It's really bad over here, but <clears throat> gotta do what you gotta do. And it is what it is. As the tree gets bigger, we'll be able to get some more and share with the critters. These are pineapples here. I have about three varieties. It's a sugarloaf pineapple. The blackberries are starting to set some fruit. Take a look at the peach trees here. This is a Tropic Beauty peach. This one's starting to get some good size. This one had more, but they knocked them down. And it's going to be a a disappointing year for winter avocado it was loaded but check this out something got to him and I thought the tree was just dropping them but nope the critters this is a Florida house and I'm gonna protect this one today that's my mission that's today's job protect the fruit trees, protect whatever fruits are hanging. So this is Florida Haas, and it's got quite a few on there. Let's take a look at some of the mangoes. This is a coconut cream. And this is a cherry Rio of the Grand. It's got some fruit on it. And as you can see, this one's on the ground, but they don't want any part of it. So they like the good stuff. They like the avocados. They like the guavas. This is a uh, ice cream mango. Maha Chinook starting to form classic shape of the Maha. These get nice and long. This one here is orange sherbet. Starting to drop a few, but it produce quite a bit. So we still have a really good chance to get in a few fruit off of this one this is pink guava still flowering and at the same time setting some fruit we'll go over to the longins I would show you the sweetheart lychee but I looked at it this morning when I got here and all the fruit was gone. So this one is starting to sit some fruit, but I think the problem with the lychees and the longins is gonna be water. These trees are not on irrigation, so they haven't hit the water table yet. 
and that's what we're gonna have to wait for because I'm not gonna put irrigation so we'll have to wait for the trees to hit their water table and then they'll set and hold on to the fruit this is a grooming chama and we stripped all the mulberries so no more mulberries hopefully they'll flush back out but we ate all the mulberries they were super delicious this is another tree that I'm going to protect today this is Venus mango look at the size of these I'm gonna put a pot here sit them inside and then try to cover it up I did that last year with Pickering Mango and it worked. This is a purple possum starting to get some size. Let's take a look at, we got a Ruby Supreme over here and there's a couple mangoes here. Uh, Sugarloaf and Honey Kiss is back there and they're holding on to some small ones, but they're also dropping right now So not sure how many of those are gonna hold on Ruby Supreme still flowering Let's go over to Pickering Mango, which is dropping a few but holding on to about a dozen. This is a citrus tree. The variety is called Tango. Looking good. And the bananas starting to fill up. Still about a month away. Take a look at this blue job over here. Those are the Yoni racks right now. I'm hoping these bananas start putting out the flags because if they do it too late, then we have to worry about the freeze. And this year we got lucky, it wasn't bad at all. We didn't even get into the 20s. This is Tropic Snow Peach. And that's it. Those are all the trees that are currently holding on to some fruit. So I hope everyone has a great weekend. And I'll see you on the next one.